outside. What's the temperature? Plus 16 Celsius. Plus 16. That's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice. I'm just going to stay down here, okay? <laughs> I saw this. Uh, someone posted. Steve Saunders. He posted this on my, uh, uh, on my page. Oh, I'm actually, well, it's the Trucker Josh fan page. It's actually run by Moses Miller. Thank you, Moses, for doing that, by the way. I appreciate you doing that. He takes care of everything on that page. Uh, Steve, you posted on there, I'm going to strap a snowblower to the roof of my car and keep driving south until someone asks me what it is. And that's where I'll stay. <laughs> that is awesome. I laughed pretty hard at that. Speaking of snow, I heard Prince Edward Island is getting a ton of snow. They had something like 150 centimeters of snow already. 150 centimeters. 30 centimeters is one foot. So you gotta do the math how many times a 30 fit into 150. That's how much snow they've had. That's like four or five feet. A couple of my friends that follow me in Prince Edward Island there were telling me Cedric and Nicole you guys out there in Prince Edward Island I, I'm sorry I'm sorry about all your snow I'm sorry not really <laughs> wow that I hope you have a snowmobile at least because that would at least make it fun but, wow I'll stay here in North Carolina thank you very much thank you very much it was beautiful, man. Just beautiful. I was actually sweating last night a little bit. Didn't even have any heaters running or nothing. Just shut the truck off and enjoyed a nice warm night. All right, so we are... Arriving at pilot on right. Exactly. Arriving at pilot on right. Right here. Oh, this is one of those tight ones. It's tight and butter. All right. Of course, everything is blocked off now. Oh, very nice. I just want to get you a parking spot, please. Okay, so we're gonna to try to find a parking spot here. We've de delivered all of our loads. We are empty. Empty. This is what I mean by some of these pilots are just like ridiculously small. No room for anything. Wow, the app said there's 50 spots here. It's like five. Oh man, this is a mess. I'm probably gonna have to go to the next one. The next pilot. Let's see if they got room for us here. These pilots are always so small, so small. And this car is going so slow. Cause he's got a red light and I have a green light. All right. Oh, lots of parking here at least. Arriving at pilot on right. On right? I think it's on the left, Mandy. Your other right. Okay, Volvo, you couldn't wait. Come on, man. I needed that turning lane. All right, there we go. There's a spot right there beside the scale for us. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's not a spot. That's not a spot. One right here, though. I'm going to take this one. We'll do a little loop-de-boop here, and we're gonna go park in there. Where should I park? Yeah, I'll park there. So many options at this pilot. Wow! Everybody went to the other one. They all forgot about this one. Well, now I'm gonna find some parking. There we go. Front and center. Beautiful spot right here, eh? Like a boss.
I don't know if you noticed or not, but that's a beautiful flag flying over there. And it's flying above a beautiful building. Some like to call it Walmart. Finally made it to a Walmart here. And, uh... I look it up on uh, Google and I, I look it up in, uh, on a couple of different apps that I have and it says, yeah, Walmart Supercenter has an overnight parking. I'm like, sweet, for trucks too. I get here. <laughs> and this is what I see. No overnight parking. Violators will be towed away at owner vehicle's expense. I totally said that wrong. What am I, dyslexic? No overnight parking. Violators towed away at vehicle owner's expense. Huh. Overnight parking, they said. Bring your truck, they said. Lots of truck parking, they said. Fart out of their mouth, they did. Ain't nothing here. We can park here, but not overnight. You can't tell me there's truck parking and then tell us we can't spend the night. I wasn't going to spend the night here anyway, so it doesn't affect me, but, you know, it gives the illusion, it gives the impression that if you're going to, say, truck parking, that you might be able to spend the night there. But just saying, just saying, getting mixed signals here from Walmart. I still love you, Walmart. Don't worry. I'm still going to go in there and buy all your stuff. Speaking of which, let's go in there. Diesel, you're going to stay in here, right? I'll buy you a bone. Okay? You know, you're going to eat the bone if I buy it for you? What do you got, a granola bar over there? Okay, at least you're eating healthy. And we're putting groceries away. Or, I'm putting groceries away. Diesel's kind of distracted there. What do you got there behind your back there, man? I saw you take some. I saw you put it behind your back. I saw it, man. Nothing there, Diesel. Nothing there. <laughs> what is that? As promised, a man of my word. He doesn't get bones very often, but when he does, he gets a big bone. There you go, Diesel. Take it. Take it like a man. Take it like a man. Oh, I don't want to bite your hand. You gotta be careful. You gotta be ca okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right, man. I'll just be over here for the next six hours. All right, if you need me, I'll just be right here. Oh boy. He'll literally have that thing gone in a few hours. Don't go too hard on it, Diesel. I don't want your stomach to get all messed up. All right, all right, tail wag acknowledgement. Good boy. It is just a beautiful day to be alive and trucking in North Carolina. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see what the temperature is outside here. Speak to me, truck. About 10 Celsius, so about 50 Fahrenheit. Beautiful t-shirt weather. We're just taking a shortcut here from Kanapolis uh, across to the I-77 and then that's going to take us up to Greenville, Tennessee. Now there's two Greenvilles apparently. We're going to the Greenville in eastern Tennessee. Oh, we have a big lake in the middle of nowhere. Hey, want to do some fishing? Well, it's not even ice. It's February. That's awesome. Yeah, Greenville, Tennessee, we're gonna pick up there in the morning. And that load is taking us to Spruce Grove, Alberta. That's close to Edmonton, so in like the northern -er part of Alberta. Northern to me, sort of southern to the people in the, I don't know. It's in Alberta, somewhere in the middle there. And so that is good, because there's a crazy snowstorm happening in the Midwest and in the east. We're gonna go around that on this trip and avoid Mother Nature's fury once again. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I don't like snow, I don't know. I don't mind it once it's on the ground and off the roads, but while it's coming down, I'd rather just be somewhere else, you know? So I'm gonna go to Alberta where they're not having as much snow right now. Sorry, East, I don't like going there in the winter time. You know what I just thought of? I just thought of something. I'm looking at all the nice properties around here and whatnot. And I was wondering, oh, I wonder what property tax is like around here, right? And then I started thinking, what's up with property tax anyways? After you pay off your land and you own it, 
Why am I still paying rent on it to the government? You know what I mean? Once you own it, it should be yours. You should pay taxes to yourself. It's your land. If anyone else ever thought of that that way, I just thought of it now. I thought it was kind of a brilliant thought. That's my land. I'll pay tax to myself. You know what I mean? No? No one agrees with me? Fine. Who's a good boy, man? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? The tail wag over there? You think you're a good boy? I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <laughs> okay, you're a good boy too. Yeah. yeah, you're a good boy. Let me see those teeth. Doesn't look very scary, man. You gotta give them the scary eyes too. Fine then. I just don't feel like being scary, man. I like people. Maybe if I got a German Shepherd, he would teach you how to guard. Maybe I just want to be nice to people, man. Why you gotta be so mean? <laughs> it's basic. I don't want to be mean to people. <laughs> to my friends. Yeah. Diesel does get into guard dog mode sometimes, but for the most part, he's just. He's just a weasel. Look at him. Hmm. Will you please pet me? Please. Please, with that hand, with this hand right here? Yeah, with that hand right here. <laughs> he just looks at your hand longingly. I wish you would pet me with that. Oh. Well, Diesel, we are looking into getting you a brother or a sister. Did you know that? Did you know that? We are seriously considering. Yes, sir. You need some companionship, especially for when I go do my own thing. You need someone familiar around you all the time. Absolutely. And I would be transforming my truck. Uh, pretty much this bed up here where I store everything while I'm sleeping. Uh, I need to widen it because I want to put this mattress up there. So I actually sleep up there. So this whole bottom area here and the floor will be and that there. So this whole area here will be dog space. They will own that area and I will own that area up there. All that will be cleared off. My Christmas decorations will go home where they're supposed to be. And I'm trying to think of ideas of converting it, you know, making room in here. Got to make room. Got to make room, Diesel. Got to make some room. <laughs> but you guys are all going to have to wait. There are plans in the works. There are things that are happening, but It'd be at least a few months before anything would uh, materialize, so to speak. If anything does materialize, I'm not hinting at anything. Right, Diesel? It's a secret. Shh. Okay, guys, down below in the description, there's links to past videos of mine. You're wondering, what is this crazy guy up to? What's he been doing the last year? Every single day of my life, I have put on camera almost every single day of my life for the past few years. You can go down below to the, to the, to the description. 
<laughs> to the description and find out what I've been up to and follow my life day by day. It's like a, a video journal of Lernal, so to speak, but it's a, a video log, same thing, a, a log of my life, right? And that's, we just happen to drive a truck, but you know, we're not always in the truck. If you go down below, you can probably find days when we're not in the truck, when we're doing other things too. Life is exciting and happiness is a choice from what I've heard. <laughs> and it sure is. If you choose to be happy first thing in the morning, I find that the day goes over a whole lot better. So I challenge you to that today. Make it a good day. It's only up to you if it's going to be a good day or not. Good days don't just happen. You have to make them happen. Turn a bad situation into a good situation. Figure it out. <laughs> Figure it out. Okay. Tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, my vlog will be live on YouTube. Tomorrow's vlog. On Facebook, I will post it whenever I get up. Because YouTube is still being weird and not posting my videos to Facebook for me anymore. I don't know if they changed their policy or whatnot, but I have posted there myself now. And so whenever I get up, I'll post it there. If you want to see it right at 4 a.m. Central Time, go to YouTube and find me in your subscriptions. I'll be there waiting.